Hello everyone. I'm going to go through or continue on with the trash donate key process. Uh, this one's probably the most difficult process I've had to do, which is greeting cards, old greeting cards from relatives or, and or friends. Um, not a very big pile. I could just keep them in a corner somewhere, but yeah, they'd just be, well, respectfully gathering dust. They wouldn't be really looked at. And although they have sentimental value, I can always relive the memories by watching them here with you on YouTube. So let's go through them in no particular order. It's not in chronological order. So I'll be jumping around. There could be a card from my seventh birthday. There could be one from my 17th birthday. So let's just get started and I'll just work through the pile from um, top to bottom. So here's a nice shot of my carpet. <laughs> okay, so here's the first one. Um, it says uh, a birthday wish for you. Okay, I just put the phone on a stand so I could use both hands. As I was saying, this is the first one. So it's a, a birthday gift, oh, sorry, a birthday wish for you. So it's a, that's, that's the front. And the back, it says it's Indo art, I think it says. So that's from Indonesia, a card made from Indonesia. And that's the inside there. Um, and the signature is from my uncle uh, who's since passed away. Uh, uncle and family so that's nice okay this one's a Christmas card wishing you a Merry Christmas to the back there that's the inside um, I don't actually remember who this Peter is uh, I don't recognize the handwriting either it must be from a long time ago so Peter if you're watching this <laughs> maybe you can uh, remind me who you are respectfully I don't remember. <laughs> okay, this one's a birthday card. Hello, happy birthday. Uh, it's another Indo art one, so it's from Indonesia for one of my relatives. I'm just going to fold the card in half because there's a letter on one side. It's pretty clear there, I think. And uh, yeah, on the other side is the, the printed um, greeting and yeah, some more handwriting there. Very nice handwriting. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure who, which, I mean, obviously it's a relative of mine, but Honey or Henny is a kind of common, a common name. So again, yeah, I might have to go through this with my relatives or maybe I'll WhatsApp them later or something. So yeah, that's that one there. Okay, this one, it's your special day. And again, another Indo art one. Um, this one I do recognize. I had a look at the inside before I'm recording this. And it's from my cousin Elizabeth. Um, yeah, she currently lives in Singapore. Uh, has since married with at least two or three children, I think. I haven't met her um, children as yet. So one day if I ever go to Singapore, but you know how much I love the heat. <laughs> Not. Okay, this one's clearly from my parents, uh, for you, son. Um, it's a Hallmark one, bought here. That's it there, yeah, this is when my mum was alive, when my mum was still with us. It doesn't say the year, so, um, yeah, uh, well, obviously anywhere from 2008 or earlier. <laughs> This one's a birthday card, a birthday wish for a special boy. Yep, another Indo art card from Indonesia. And yeah, this one's from my grandparents. So that's, oh, hang on, let's do it this way. Yep, so uh, uh, it's probably written by my grandfather, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's my grandfather's handwriting, or it could be my grandmother's handwriting, my late grandmother or grandfather's handwriting. <laughs> and that's that side there. <laughs> Again, I don't think, is the year mentioned? No, the year's not mentioned, but a special boy. Uh, yeah, so that would be... Uh, yeah, my first 12 years, I guess, either from maybe 7 to 12 years of age, approximately. <laughs> Okay, this one's a Christmas card, sorry about the reflection there, from the ceiling apartment lights. 
This one's a, a Roxy branded card. I'm not sure. I probably bought from Indonesia because these are relatives from Indonesia. Um, nothing on that side of the card, so I'll just hold the inner side. Uh, I'm not super unfamiliar with the names <laughs> that are signed, but yeah, um, the faces escape me, so I can't place a face to the names. Um, again, mind you, I haven't been back, if you've seen other videos of mine, I haven't been back to Indonesia since 1994, mind you, <laughs> and this is the year 2024, yes, exactly 30 years, so my memory is a bit patchy, um, if they're not close relatives, when I say close, like if they're not my late grandparents or, you know, closer in, um, in the family tree, yeah, um, the memory blurs. <laughs> Okay, this one, the envelope that it came in, I did handwrite the date, or the year at least, and the month. So this is October 1994. Um, birthday wishes for someone special. <laughs> special. <clears throat> um, is it... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter what brand it is, but it's quite minimal there, obviously, in the back. Nothing on the left side. So the inner side... Um, oh, yes, this is my... Uh, well, again, she's passed away, but my great-aunt... Uh, that and and her husband, I think at the time, unless that's her signature underneath, it's probably just from her. Um, yeah, she, in her later years, she moved to Melbourne to live with her son and daughter-in-law and grandchildren. Um, she has since passed away, so that's from her. Okay, this one's a birthday card, clearly, a birthday wish, and yet another Indo art card from Indonesia. Um... Looks like I wrote the date when I received it there, Wednesday the 26th of October 1994. So when it arrived in the mail, in the post, snail mail at the time. Okay, why I'm holding it like this, um, you know, I'm conscious my friends remind me not to give too much personal information onto my channel. I know some people love to talk about everything and anything about themselves. And this is pretty personal, you could say these are my greeting cards. Um, but yeah, just blocking my birth date. Because, you know, that's something you need for identity theft, <laughs> not to sound all dire. Um, but that's there. Um, this one, I'm not, again, 100% sure who it's from. Just going by the signature or the handwriting of the name. Yeah, so again, bear in mind, 30 years since I've been back to Indonesia. I know these cards might have been sent between 1994 and 2024, but... Um, yeah, it's uh, the memory, again, is not so good, <laughs> especially when I haven't seen the majority of relatives for, well, now for 30 years. I haven't seen them in person for 30 years. Okay, this one I don't mind sharing the year. This was sent to me in 1982, with love, grandson, on your birthday. And it's an ambassador card brand. Ooh, it sounds so regal, ambassador. Again, I'll just hold the left side. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my grandfather's handwriting. I'll just say my grandmother never wrote to me, but um, my late grandmother, my late grandfather, on my mum's side. Um, but yeah, going by, if you want to look back, I might put it in the comments, the link to the video I wrote or read out of my grandf late grandfather's diary, so to speak, of asking him to write a little bit about his autobiography, about his life. The handwriting matches, so I pretty sure this is my late grandfather's handwriting versus my late grandmother's there, their signatures at the bottom. Okay, again, just covering up the exact date of my birthday. Um, near my thumb there, it says Malang, which is where they live. They lived in Indonesia, in, in the island of Java, and the year there is 1982. So that's the printed card greeting, and again, their signatures or their names underneath. Yeah, the text. Okay, this is a, the one I call an all occasions card because there's no text to say, you know, Merry Christmas or Happy Birthday or Happy Anniversary, but it's a nice graphic there. That's the back. It's a, an Australian made card or sourced card. So is that a bit blurry? <laughs> there's nothing above, so I'm just folding it in half horizontally here. Um, so this was given to me. Uh, on the 19th of October, I don't mind sharing, that's not my birth date, <laughs> so now you're going to probably write down all the dates that are not my birth date, um, 
yeah, my editing skills are quite limited, so I don't know how to remove this part now that I'm starting to record. I don't want to start all over again. So anyway, so this was given to me on the 19th of October 2001. And yeah, just believe me, that is not my birth date, <laughs> not my exact birth date. Um, this would have been the date that Sam gave this to me. Sam, from memory, was a friend when I used to volunteer at the uh, Victorian AIDS Council, the VAC, here in Paran, in Melbourne. Um, they have lots of workshops for the LGBTIQ community, and he was one of the fellow volunteers, I'm pretty sure, that I worked alongside at the time. So, yeah, that's my 31st birthday at the time, uh, decades ago. <laughs> Don't mind saying that. Not giving away my exact age, but yeah, so there we go. Nice handwriting of um, Sam's. <laughs> yeah, sadly, I've lost touch with Sam and vice versa. Just, you know, mutually you go on your separate ways. Friends come and go. Okay, this one's uh, another birthday card there. Quite cute with the koalas. And my love of music. Maybe the person knows <laughs> I'm into music. Uh, this one's again another Australian card. Oh, I've got the date there as received on Monday the 16th of October... What is that? Hang on, I can't see the year. One second. 1995. I have it. 1995. I'm having trouble reading my own handwriting. Okay, yeah, this one is uh, attached to sad memories. Um, this was my auntie. The auntie's handwriting is on the left, and I think it's her daughter on the right. I think. Yeah, if I've got that right, yeah. Um, I won't go into details, but uh, these were relatives that lived in Sydney, but they've um, both passed away. Actually, the except for the father, the the uh, the, fa the family uh, that lived in that in Sydney, my auntie and her two children have all passed away. I don't want to go into the details, but um, to respect um, the surviving family's privacy. But yeah, my auntie and her two children. Um, a son and daughter have all passed away since, uh, so I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, Inga, I think that was her, her name, I mean, I only know one Inga in the family, so I can't quite make out the signature on the right, or maybe it's just from her, but the handwriting's different, as you can see on the left, compared to the handwriting on the right. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, quite a quite a, a, a sad memory there. But again, you're probably wondering. You probably I've got you curious now. But um, yeah, just won't go into the details of um of their passing. Okay, why am I doing this? <laughs> Underneath this piece of paper is a photo of my best friends, my really close friend, my best friend's sons. And yeah, I know they don't they don't choose to partake in my videos, so I won't um, show that. Being a photo, it's likely I will keep this one because, um, I mean, you, I know you could say, well, you can make a separate video, Ivan, or, and set it to private, and you can see their photo online, but no, being a printed photo, you know, that's rare these days. We keep our photos digitally unless you want to print them out. Um, so I'll, I'll keep this card because it's a photo of my my friend's children, the two sons, so that's it's a Christmas card that they're wishing me. And the back is a hallmark. The ribbon is, a, I think, supporting, oh no, in this case it's supporting breast cancer. It seems like a similar kind of, maybe it's a universal colour, that ribbon that's red. For, it could be for like AIDS support, um, you know, supporting the AIDS Foundation. Um, but yeah, this one's for Breast Cancer Foundation. Australia, I think. National Breast Cancer Foundation, yeah, pretty sure that's in Australia. And again, inside, just, sorry, that's a bit reflective there, just um, blocking out their names, just for their privacy. Uh, yeah, they're just uh, wishing me a Christmas, Christmas wishes for that year. Uh, which the year of that card was 2018, 2018. Pre-pandemic, what a time. And this one's a Christmas card uh, from my friend at the time, David Ma. Just for you at Christmas time, um, uh, a uh, friend that I met during high school, my high school years. It's a John Sands branded card. Um, he has since moved to Perth, um, David Ma. Um, well, I can't ask him if he doesn't mind me showing his name, but 
yeah, I've, I've lost contact with him. Um, sorry, just switching it back to me to mix it up, just since, instead of just hearing my detached voice. <laughs> um, yeah, David Ma was a close friend of mine in high school. Um, when he left Melbourne to move to Perth, Australia, he left to me in a, I don't know, a very impersonal way. Frankly, rude, I thought. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what, and the only reason I can give is that he doesn't, didn't want any more contact. He wanted to make a fresh start in his own mind. Like if you had a close friend and you moved to another city or even across the world, you would give contact details. You'd say, Ivan, once I've settled in Perth, I'll, um, you know, send you a postcard or something with my new address and where I'm living. But he didn't. I mean, he said goodbye to me and everything and let me know that he was moving to Perth. But he gave no forwarding address, and uh, when I did once catch up with his parents since he left, um, you know, just I popped in just to see how he was going. I don't believe I asked them of his address. I mean, maybe they could read it in my face, but they didn't. Again, maybe David told them, oh, if Ivan ever catches up with you or asks you, don't give them, don't give him my address. Don't let him know my contact details in Perth. So he effectively cut me off. Is it, is it called ghosting? Is that the word? Um, it's a bit sad. I mean, we didn't have a fallout. Um, I don't believe there was any reason, I can't, any reason f in terms of me why he would not want me in his life anymore. But it's his decision. I mean, you know, I can't, you can't force people to be your friends. Um, but he was a close friend. And uh, yeah, there's nice memories. We... I remember we had a camping trip in the Grampians, um, as it's called. I believe that's in Victoria. My geography is even terrible in Australia. Or is it bordering New South Wales? Um, you, you know the, um, the Australian viewers out there, or even ar across the world. You probably know Australia better than I do. I tend to travel. Uh, holidays tend to be outside of Australia, generally. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if, David, you're possibly watching this. It's very unlikely, or maybe it is likely. I mean, YouTube is a is a thing. <laughs> um yeah, I've, I admit I've tried to Google his name, but it's, well, firstly, David's a very common name. Mar is also a common surname. Nothing really comes up. I don't have Facebook, so any matches that come up, I can't delve deeper. I choose not to delve deeper because I don't have Facebook, or I choose not to have Facebook. So, yeah, uh, rec oh, I want to say recently, some years ago, my high school had a, I think a 20th and 20th year anniversary, you know, like a reunion, a reunion, <laughs> but I chose not to partake in that. So, and it's unlikely that he would have flown all the way to Perth for, for that. And I'm living here. I didn't want to participate. So, um, yeah, um, because I know one other friend, um, Anthony Wright, uh, he, he asked me if I wanted to attend this, this reunion, a reunion. I said, no. And he told me the, our well, not even mutual friends, some of his friends that he tried to contact with, uh, tried to reconnect with or contact for that event. And I raised uh, David Ma. He might have said, is there anyone that you can think of that, you know, might be interested in coming to the reunion? And I, I may have mentioned David Ma, but I did note that he, last I, con last I knew, he, lived, he lives in Perth. So whether he's still there now, I have no idea, of course. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that, that card was from David Ma, so that's the the backstory for that one. Okay, this one I see is from a relative of mine, especially for you, life's dearest gifts, the gifts of the heart. Uh, again, it's an Indo an Indo art card, and the, at the top is when I received it in the post, which again I'm having trouble reading my handwriting. It's received Wednesday, the fourth of January, nineteen ninety five. So that's the left-hand side there. So again, nice handwriting. So there we go. And on the right-hand side, it's a Christmas card. Um, I don't mind sharing my brother's name. I might have mentioned to him. It's Denny, my younger brother. Um, it's in Indonesian. Those that can read Indonesian is Om and Tante, which it's, yeah, in 1990. Five, my mother was still around, so that's Om and Tanta is translated as uncle and aunt, uh, and it's a Christmas card, and her name is Putri. I do that name does ring a bell again, in terms of face, <laughs> I, it's a bit blurry because, um, well, yeah, 1995 is 29 years ago, so yeah, a long time since I met her. She 
had studied in in Melbourne, some course, some university course, and then once graduated, returned to Indonesia. How are you going out there? Have you made a cup of coffee or a wine or beer going through this? It's still quite a few cards to go. So this one's Hello. It's uh, in a Christmas theme. Another Indo art card. This one, again, coincidentally, is from Putri. Um, nothing on the left-hand side. Um, it's also signed... I can't, sorry, I can't quite make out that name. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. It's her partner, I imagine, her husband. Um, and, uh, I probably shouldn't show it, should I? Well, it's already there. It's the email address. It might be defunct. I've tried some old email addresses when I've come across handwritten, you know, addresses and contact is, and they've all been um, bounced back. The email system has told me, you know, this email address doesn't exist, this cannot be sent. So the email address that you see there in the bottom um, most likely won't work anyway. So, I mean, why would you want to email them? <laughs> but yeah, so that's um, that's the Christmas card. That's a Christmas card from Putri and her husband. Okay, this one's a cute... Uh, for a special boy, uh, is it one where I'm supposed to put my head there? <laughs> uh, that's a Hallmark card there. Actually, I might do that on, on here. Re get ready to cringe. So is that how it's supposed to look? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, again, just blocking out my exact birth date there under the post-it notes. Um, this one's from my auntie and uncle. Uh, my uncle has since passed away, which is my mum's brother. So, um, yeah, that's uh, from from them. I thought I thought the top was uh, French fries, actually. No, it's crayons. <laughs> from a distance, it looks like a packet of um, McDonald's fries. Not. Okay, this one's obviously a birthday card. Happy birthday. Someday your ship will come in with uh, four-leaf clovers there as a, luck, a lucky icon. This one's a card master's series. I won't show the left-hand side because that shows my exact birth date, but it, I did also note in my handwriting that this relative gave me $30 at the time, so I don't know whether it was a $30 voucher or $30 in cash. I can't quite make out the signature, <laughs> sorry. So, um, yes, it's... Uh, and with your luck, you'll probably be at the airport, which probably reflected that yeah as a child I went to or my parents took me or my mum rather took me to because my dad had to continue working um, to Indonesia to visit my relatives especially my grandparents that were alive at the time so yes every December I was at the airport with my mother and brother and we were off to Indonesia for a few weeks and then back to start term one here back in Victoria Melbourne so yes it's probably I would probably be at the airport um yeah, so that's interesting. And also for seeing my jet setting uh, uh, privilege to be able to do that as an adult. So, yeah, for example, going to New Zealand later in uh, late November this year, 2024. But you'll see the videos of that um, in real time. Yeah, this card proves, yeah, David Ma was a close friend because this is sent by her parents. Uh, sorry, sent by his parents, get the right pronoun, um, to a very special person. So this is another John Sands card. Um, Double-sided there. So on the left side, it says blue skies above you all your life through all, uh, sorry, and happiness always in, always for you. So it's a birthday card from... David Ma's parents. I've no idea, respectfully, if they're still alive or not. No, clearly, once I've lost touch with David, I eventually lost touch with his parents. Um, it's amazing that they've decided to send me a birthday card. They must have remembered, obviously, from David, but um, I wasn't expecting that. So, you know, they had no obligation to continue to contact me, even through like a birthday card once David moved to Perth because David's signature is not on here um, and also the back of the envelope is a, is a, the sender is uh, noted as his parents not from David so clearly because he didn't want any he didn't want me to know his contact details in Perth so he wouldn't send me he has not sent me any cards or communication since he moved to Perth so this is maybe one of the last times I heard from his parents and they chose to send me a birthday card uh, even once David, their son, had moved out of home, away from Melbourne. 
Oh, and the post stamp of that um, card from David's parents was 1994, I think. One sec, let me just check again. Sorry, 1991, um, you know, as a stamp of when it left the post office. So when it was processed at the post office, the stamp, the date, the year stamp says 1991. So, yeah. Okay, on we go. This is another birthday card um, with very special wishes to you on your birthday. A nice sunset or maybe sunrise <laughs> uh, shot there. Probably sunrise, actually, for sunset. The sky would be darker, wouldn't it? Or getting darker. Um, John Sands. Actually, it could be both, couldn't it? Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, let's open it up. Nothing on the left-hand side. And again, it's from my auntie that, yeah, moved, or my great-auntie, rather, moved because she was the same generation as my late grandparents. So um, my late grandmother's sister is this where this is who sent me this card um birthday card and yeah i'm just blocking out the the um my exact birth date but i'm happy to share that the year was 1999 so yeah just blocking out my exact birth date though okay this one's different this is a postcard um again my poor geography i don't know i don't haven't heard of Kiama, New South Wales. Maybe that's why they sent a postcard, so now I can know about it. Um, sorry, I know if you had to pause the screen, you can see my old address, but I'll, um, anyway, I'll cover it up now. Um, yeah, so this is interesting that they've put initials. So from I and C and John, I'm assuming, oh, hang on, from Sydney. Oh, yeah, well, they could be on holidays. So I imagine this is my auntie, uh, an auntie, an uncle of mine that still live in Melbourne. Uh, I think John, their son, has since moved out of home. He's an adult now. <laughs> At this time, he would have been much, much younger. That's who I can conclude from just the uh, from the initials I C and John, it's a family of three that, yeah, um, like I said, the parents still live in Melbourne. This is rather blurry. Uh, they live in this looks blurry to me. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, they live they still live in Melbourne, but John has since moved out. I don't know where John is to this day. I've kind of lost touch with him, but um, yeah. I think that's who they are. Again, John is a pretty common name, and the initials I and C are also common letters. But that's who I'm thinking that is from. Okay, this one is a cheeky X uh, warning X-rated birthday card. But uh, yeah, no, there's nothing X-rated about it. It's just, uh, yeah, wordplay there. Uh, one great big kiss X for your birthday. This is signed by someone called Haley. Sorry, let's just fold it this way. Signed by someone called Haley. I think if I can make out the uh, the name. Haley, again, a common name. I don't think a relative, um, probably an old work colleague or something like that. You know, you meet people along the way and you make friends along the way. And again, life is a mixture of friends that come and go. And yeah, Haley's one that's no longer, I'm no longer associated with and vice versa. But um, yeah, at the time she wished me a happy birthday. Again, sorry if it is a relative, but I think Haley is someone I knew in my past working life somewhere, in some job. <laughs> this one's a cute birthday card. It's your birthday. Perhaps you'd rather skip this one and sneak right by the day. Um, and yeah, if you open it, hang on, I'm just covering the bottom because my birth date's on the bottom. It's one of those cards that, um, yeah, you know, it's one of those animated cards that the yeah the snail sticks its neck out and yeah as the pun ty uh, the pun wording says there but i'm going to stick my neck out so i'm just covering the birth date at the bottom there <laughs> um my exact birth date happy birthday again the hang on a second sorry about this <laughs> but yeah the left side shows the the signatures of the relatives again it's hard to make out but um yeah it's a cute little card there um, a hallmark card there, so the branding hallmark, so it's a bit blurry. Should, shouldn't hold it too close. Well, there we go. We got through it. I know there's more cards somewhere in some little box, but uh, I may do this again. I may not. You might be like, no, please don't. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so out of those, I'll keep the one with the photo of my um, friend's children. Um, that's, yeah, that's one of a kind. Um, I know, again, I could just record it on YouTube and set it to private. But, yeah, I've, I've, I grew up in a generation where, you know, printed photos was the thing. You had to process them and wait, you know, what is it, maybe five to a week, five to seven days. Sorry, maybe just two to seven days to get it proce processed and then to see your photos on film. Um, yeah, photographic film, not digital cameras these days or phones. Um, so I'll keep that. That's quite nice of my friend to send. Uh, yeah, that's all. I um, hope you got something out of it. Uh, otherwise, you would have stopped watching this uh, 29 minutes ago <laughs> or even 20, 29, and 30, 29 minutes and 30 seconds ago. Anyway, if you got to the end, um, thank you. <laughs> and yeah, just continuing again the process in one small way of decluttering. Um, many people I know don't, I mean, not many people I know, I know of, and you're probably watching, saying I don't ever keep greeting cards. You know, you, you, you cherish them maybe a day or two after you receive them, and then you, you don't, <laughs> you get rid of them. But um, I just thought I'd preserve them now that I've got a YouTube channel. I know there's, I could have just set this to private, but I've tried to block out certain information, so that's all good. And sadly, some, or oh, you know, the, of the of the uh, of the senders are not here with us anymore, so they don't have a say. <laughs> no, they're looking down at heaven, going, "Hey, I don't want my card on YouTube." All right then, um, there you go. Just um, just biding my time until the Belinda Carlisle concert tonight at the Palais. Um, according to the set, uh, the running list, the running schedule, she won't be on till maybe even 9 p.m. or at least 8.30. So it's hours, hours to go yet. I don't even know what exact time it is now. Let me just check the time. It is now 11.30 in the morning on Saturday, the 21st of September, 2024. So, yeah, what's that? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So nine, nine hours potentially since until uh, she's on stage i don't believe she has a support act to come on before her and even if she does i usually don't bother with the support acts unless it's someone i recognize and i would like to see um but i don't want to be there overly early i might need to come there a little bit early just to find a parking space because those that know st kilda is quite uh quite a task to find a parking space uh, clearly most spots are permit zones reserved for the residents that live near there because yeah they are entitled to that <laughs> um being residents they're entitled to a car space um but i know spots and uh, as i as it's been dubbed the secret parking space that my one of my colleagues at work when we went to a concert there or two at the palais in the past i still know where that street is and yeah i always seem to be able to get a spot there maybe once or twice i haven't only because Obviously, other people can park there. Clearly, the residents or other visitors like me who just park there temporarily. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm blabbing on. I can tell you more about that once I head there later um, this evening. So I'll leave that for now, the, the greeting card decluttering. Maybe I'll make another one if I find the other pile somewhere. It's in a container somewhere. So um, the only thing I also haven't um, touched on is letters like... Handwritten letters I'll probably keep. That's, again, again, I, I know I could just film them, but, you know, they're quite detailed, the letters, meaning they're quite obviously personal in nature, not that they would be giving away any bank details or things like that, but they would only be obviously of value to me. So, I mean, I know these greeting cards are of value to me and not to anyone else, but, you know, just showing you the card designs and um, obviously when people used to post greeting cards, nowadays people, you know, can send e-cards i know that um uh, the pet shop boys um send uh they have obviously a mailing list and i'm on the mailing list and they used to send out physical christmas cards every year with you know pet shop boys motives and icons and designs and at some point you know maybe five six years ago or so they reverted to email so it was like e-cards so you'd get a email from them and then you when you open the attachment or you see the email you see the sometimes often animated christmas cards so yeah everything's become digital mostly i mean people still do post out christmas cards and birthday cards but yeah i'd say the percentage is getting less 
I don't recall the last time I received a birthday card, unless it's actually people coming to my birthday. Um, you know, when we catch up in person, uh, the card is usually a physical card as opposed to them just saying happy birthday and vice versa. If I'm going to a friend's birthday party, I will give them a physical card, but not posting them. All right, enough flipping. Gosh, it's almost 35 minutes. It is 35 minutes now on the clock. So let's stop there before you all fall asleep and need another coffee. I appreciate you if you watched this till the end. And um, if I, if I unless I make some more videos between now and Belinda Carlisle, um, I hope you look forward to, if you're a fan or even a passive fan and you want to see the gig through my channel, you will see it once I upload. Hopefully there's no pesky ushers that will stop me from filming. I've never had an issue with filming um, performances at the Palais Theatre. I always do it discreetly, whether it's photos or video, um, you know, not holding it above my head, blocking the people behind me. I think I'm in a row, and the section I'm in is called orchestra, and I'm in the very back row of that section. And behind me there is a walkway, obviously for safety and egress, so there's not going to be anyone behind me for several metres. I'm on an aisle, so there's no one to my left, only to my right. And yes, yeah, I said, I, I don't, not the sort of person to hold the phone, you know, to obscure other people. I'm very conscious of the people around me. And yeah, I'll be as discreet as I can. So, all right, that's enough. <laughs> I need a drink to wet my whistle, as they say. Good morning, everyone, and the Eastern Standard Time areas <laughs> of Australia and for the rest of the world. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.